Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever, coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today I'll be doing a review on a JC Wings SAS Scandinavian Airline System Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft in their 2019 updated revised livery scheme in a 1-200 scale model in a flaps down version. I purchased this model off eBay. But first, before I go into details about this particular aircraft model, allow me to share with you some information about the history of SAS Scandinavian Airlines system and how they actually came about. Scandinavian Airlines is a Swedish slash Norwegian slash Danish based airline that was actually founded on August 1st, 1946 as a consortium to the transatlantic operation of Fence Intercontinental Love Traffic AB. Dep Dansky Lup Farskel Scope AS, as well as Dep Norsky Lup Farskel Skip AS, which resulted in a partnership that was formed to handle the intercontinental air traffic of these three Scandinavian countries, as the airline officially commenced operations on September 17, 1946, as the consortium was actually extended to cover European and domestic cooperation two years later in 1948. Then fast forward three years later in 1951. That's when all three of the airlines will eventually merge together and officially became the airline, which is mostly recognized today from around the world as SAS Scandinavian Airlines System. Scandinavian Airlines, or SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, with the legal name Scandinavian Airlines System Denmark, Norway, Sweden, is the national flag carrier airline for the countries of Sweden, Norway, and Denmark, as well as the largest operating airline in the country of Scandinavia, Whereas the headquarters of Scandinavian Airlines are SAS, the Scandinavian Airlines System, Octi Bolag, which by the way are the actual owners of SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, is located at the SAS Fransendavik office building, which is located in Sonla, Sweden, while the airline's main hub and base of operations is located on the grounds of Copenhagen Kastrup Airport, which is located approximately five miles south of the city center district section of Copenhagen, Denmark, on the island of Amager. While the airline's other primary hubs are located at Stockholm Orlando Airport, which is located in Stockholm, Sweden, and Oslo Airport, which is located in the Oslo, Norway suburb section of Gardermoen. And the focus city hubs of SAS Scandinavian Airlines System are located at Bergen Airport, located in Fleesland, Bergen, Norway, Gothenburg Lanvetter Airport located in Gothenburg Lanvetter, Sweden, Stavanger Airport located in Sola, Norway, Trondheim Airport located in Trondheim, Norway, and Tromsø Airport located in Tromsø, Norway. As of July 2022, or at the time of this video review posting, SAS Scandinavian Airlines system currently flies to 168 destinations across Asia, Europe, and North America with an operating fleet of 141 aircraft, which includes six Airbus A350-900XWBs, extra wide-body aircraft, including this one you're looking at here. And in addition to the 141 aircraft that currently operates in the SAS Scandinavian Airlines fleet, the airline also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 34 more aircraft, in which two of those are the Airbus A350-900XWBs, and those aircraft, as we speak, are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. Also, as of July 2022, or at the time of this video review posting, SAS Scandinavian Airlines System is one of 150 airlines in the world of aviation that currently operates as a certified three-star airline carrier, according to the international airline review firm Skytrax Magazine and the Airbus destination code for SAS Scandinavian Airlines System for this particular aircraft is 94X. All right, everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box here. And what you're looking at at the top is the uh, A350XWB decal you see there as XWB literally stands for extra wide body. Then you see the SAS title right here, the airline's logo. You also see in the background in that box there as well, the Scandinavian title, the computer generated picture of the aircraft. And then there's two types of aircraft in Jagger Viking. And then there's the registration ship number SE-RSA. And then Ovar Odd Viking SE-RSC. The one on the left, that's the one I'm going to do the review on, as well as the one 200 scale diecast aircraft model information you see at the front of the box. All right, now you're looking at the back of the box, and what you see is the 
airline's logo, SAS, the Scandinavian title, the aircraft type, the specification concerning this particular aircraft, the warning information, as well as the width and the width of the aircraft, as well as the JC Wings logo. You can pause and read this information if you like, but in the meantime, I'm going to keep this moving, all right? All right, now you're looking at the top of the bottom, what you see is the aircraft type, A350XWB, the airline's logo, the Scandinavian title, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, the name of the aircraft, Orval Odd Viking, including the three uh, flag decals right there, as well as the 1200 scale uh, diecast aircraft model. And you see the two versions, the flaps up and the flaps down one. That one, that's going to probably come at a later date, sometime in the foreseeable future. Be on the lookout there as well. All right, now you're looking at the bottom of the aircraft. It's the same information on the top of the air box, except the uh, aircraft name and the registration ship number. This right here in Jaguar Viking, that's the name of this aircraft, as well as the registration ship number. There's the flaps up and the flaps down version. This is the flaps down version you see checked there. That's the one I'm going to do the review on, okay? All right, now you're looking at the actual model stand that actually came with the model. And you're looking at the bottom of it, you see the, uh, the airline's logo, SAS, the aircraft type, as well as the scale model information you see at the bottom of the model stand. Then you come up this way. You see that little black pattern right there, folks? The sole purpose of that black pattern is that pad not only protects your model, it also prevents it from being damaged or scratched when and if you decide to put your aircraft model on this particular model stand, okay? All right, now you're looking at this plastic bag, and what you see inside this plastic bag are the actual gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model, featuring the two little toothpicks for this gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned as I go into detail for the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model, okay? All right, with all that information out of the way about the history of SAS Scandinavian Airlines system and how they actually came about, plus all the details here on the front of the box, as well as the information at the back of the box, plus the actual model stand that came with the model, as well as the plastic bag that features the gear replacement doors inside that plastic bag there, featuring the two little toothpicks for those gear replacement doors. And with no further ado, everyone, here is the actual model out of the packaging box. Let's check it out. There it is, everyone, the JC Wings SAS Scandinavian Airlines System Airbus A350-900XWB Extra wide body aircraft in their 2019 updated revised livery scheme and a 1200 scale model in the flaps down version. All right, allow me to share some information with you about the SAS Scandinavian Airlines system Airbus A350 900 XWB extra wide body aircraft and how it became a part of their fleet. SAS Scandinavian Airlines System became the 29th airline carrier in the world of aviation that acquired this prestigious state-of-the-art aircraft as SAS Scandinavian Airlines System took delivery of its very first of eight Airbus A350-900XWB's extra wide-body aircraft that SAS Scandinavian Airlines System had placed orders for back on October 3rd, 2013 and received their very first Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide-body aircraft, which bared the registration ship number SE-RSA, which happened to be this aircraft you're looking at here, at a special delivery ceremony that was held at the Airbus Delivery Center facility that's located in Toulouse, France on November 28, 2019. Then fast forward two months later, and that's when the airline's first inaugural international flight on this aircraft actually took place, which was on January 28, 2020, and that's when SAS Scandinavian Airlines System officially began utilizing this aircraft on their Copenhagen to Chicago O'Hare route, alternating with the Airbus A330-300s that are also utilized on this particular route as Copenhagen Castro, Stockholm Orlando, and Oslo has become the primary gateway basis for this particular aircraft type, with the lion's share of the Airbus A350-900XWBs currently operates mostly from the airline's main hub at Kastrup Airport in Copenhagen, Denmark. SAS Scandinavian Airlines system has ordered a total of eight Airbus A350-900XWBs to add to their fleet. And at the time of this video review posting, 
There are only six that are currently operating in service, while the remaining two are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery, as this particular aircraft is destined to become one of the airline's official flagship jetliners for the Stockholm-based airline, as this particular aircraft has also become the aircraft that eventually replaced the airline's fleet of Airbus A340-300, which was eventually withdrawn from the airline's fleet on December 1, 2020, as SAS Scandinavian Airlines System expects all eight of their Airbus A350-900XWBs to be fully operated in their fleet by the end of 2024. Now, let's talk about this unique livery scheme you're looking at on this aircraft. This is the updated revised livery scheme of Stockholm-based SAS Scandinavian Airlines System which was officially unveiled at a special unveiling ceremony that was held in Copenhagen, Denmark on September 19, 2019. And the first two aircraft that began sporting this livery scheme was an Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide-body aircraft, which bared the registration ship number SE-RSA, which happened to be this aircraft you're looking at here, and an Airbus A320neo new engine option aircraft, which bared the registration ship number OY-KAM, as this updated revised livery scheme is actually the first livery scheme change makeover for SAS in 21 years since 1998, as well as the airline's fourth livery scheme change makeover overall since the airline was founded in 1946. And as for the airline's previous colors of eggshell off-white, reddish-orange, and blue, which was actually painted on the fuselage, the engine columns, as well as on the tail fin of the aircraft, respectively, has now been updated and revised to a variety of sophisticated modern shade colors of light metallic gray, metallic silver, as well as metallic blue, whereas the SAS billboard title is now displayed at the front of the fuselage that's actually painted in metallic silver as well. Replacing the Scandinavian Airlines billboard title as the airline's title name can now be visibly seen on the underbelly section of the fuselage along with the long blue art part of the tail that now extends down underneath the rear of the fuselage. SAS Scandinavian Airlines System's updated revised livery scheme is definitely the visual proof that symbolizes the future of SAS by the continuation and the affirmation by promoting the actual design values of the country of Scandinavia which also embraces the airline's heritage, which actually reflects the iconic history of SAS Scandinavian Airlines system, as travelers from Scandinavia will recognize their home routes, while global travelers, on the other hand, will encounter the renowned feeling of the Nordics through this updated revised livery scheme, as SAS Scandinavian Airlines system expects to have their entire fleet painted in this updated revised livery scheme by the end of 2024. The updated revised livery scheme of SAS Scandinavian Airlines System was actually designed and created by the airline's senior product design manager, Christine Mayer, who also collaborated with Oscar Lubeck, who also happens to be the founder as well as the creative director of the Swedish design agency firm of Bolt, whose global headquarters is located in Stockholm, Sweden, as well as the consultancy firm of Axel Noble, whose global headquarters is located in Amsterdam, Netherlands, respectively. Well, so for so much for this uh, aircraft model as well as the lyrics scheme you see in here. With no further ado, let's get down to the nitty gritty and let me show you all the details on this aircraft model. Shall we? Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the port side's left side. We're going to start at the front as always, where you see the front nose landing gear, the landing gear struts, the landing gear door featuring the partial registration ship number you see displayed on that nose gear door, RSA. See the Peter 2s and the static ports, what have you, the radon nose cone, and more Peter 2s. And then there's the windshield wipers and the cockpit windows. I'm going to give you a better visual view of those details later on in the model review. But between the cockpit windows and the L1 entrance door is the Star Alliance decal, which is this decal you're looking at right here. And SAS Scandinavian Airlines System joined the Star Alliance along with Air Canada, Lufthansa, Thai Airways International, and United Airlines as one of the five founding members on May 14, 1997, which consists of 26 airline members from five inhabited continents. And then you're looking at the three colored flag decals, which is this right here. And these three colored flag decals actually represents the country where SAS Scandinavian Airlines System currently operates from as the major flag carrier airline for the following countries of Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. All right. Okay. 
Noe red and blue, Sweden blue and yellow, and Denmark red and white you see there. And then underneath the three colored flag decal is the name of the aircraft and Jagger Viking, which is this aircraft, which is this name here. Sorry about that. The name you see right there. And Jagger Viking, whose real name was actually in Jagger Olaf's daughter, who was born in 1001 AD, was also a Viking as well as the princess of Sweden and the Grand Princess of Kiev during the St. Olaf dynasty era from 1019 up until her death on February 10, 1050 AD, which took place during the Viking era. She was also the daughter of Olaf Scott Kine Nung, who was also the King of Sweden, and Estrid of the Arbitrites, who was also the Queen of Sweden, as she was also elevated to sainthood shortly after her death in 1050. We still at the front of the aircraft, and what you look at is the airline's logo, and which is this logo right here. And this is the airline's corporate logo, which is the acronym for Scandinavian Airline System, as this corporate logo can also be seen inside the blended winglets. I'm going to show you that right now. There, as well as on the tail fin of the aircraft. There. All right. Now looking at the center aircraft and underneath these wings here, you're looking at the outer landing bogey gears here on the side of the aircraft you see there. See the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. But more important, you see these big massive engines which is painted in uh, metallic blue and metallic silver as well, featuring the Scandinavian tire on the engine column. And these are the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB84 turbofan type engines that are used on this particular SAS Scandinavian Airlines system. Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body jetliner aircraft. You also see the engine cones right there, more detailed and realistic there as well. Now we're going to turn this aircraft model around. We're going to look at the front of the engines and we're going to actually find out if they do spin. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port slash left side, featuring the air deflector slash engine strike right there as well. Now let's see if the fan blades spin on this side of the aircraft. Yes, they do. Perfect. Then you see the inboard landing light right there and the triangle pattern is painted on there, three little dots, as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears, which include the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. And then you see the uh, the wing, the front of the wings and the flaps down angle you see there. Okay. All right, now you're looking at the engines on the uh, starboard side, right side of the aircraft, featuring the air deflector slash engine strikes there as well. And then the fan blade spin over here as well. Yes, they do. And then you see the inboard landing light, as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears, including the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. And then you see the front of the uh, wings and the flaps down angle as well. You see over here as well. Okay. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft, and we're going to start at the top where you see the Podscape hatch door. I'm going to give you a better visual view of that detail later on in the review. Then you're looking at the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the Peter tubes, the radon nose cone, the front nose landing gear door, the landing gear lights inside of the landing gear doors, the landing gear struts, as well as the front visual view of the front nose landing gears. All right, everyone, we're still on the uh, port slash left side of the aircraft. And what you're looking at on this side of the aircraft is the blended winglet wingtip device, which is this little blended winglet right here. It's painted in metallic blue. And these blended winglets were made from composite materials. And the sole purpose of these blended winglets is to improve the overall efficiency of the aircraft, resulting in saving fuel, lowering noise emissions, and improving takeoff performance at the same time. These blended winglets has a 31.9 degree sweep angle, helping to increase cruise speed to Mach 0.85 and a maximum operating speed to a Mach 0.89. The blended winglets for the Airbus A350 were produced at the Airbus Broughton factory, known as a specialist facility, located in Hawarton, Flintshire, Wales, which lies near the border of England and Wales. And then you see the red navigation light you see right there next to the blended winglet wingtip device. Now I'm going to let you see this... Uh, these winglets at a front view angle. Let's check it out. Now you got a front visual view of the blended winglets. You see there 
how it curved off at a 31.9 degree sweep angle. Sorry about the 31.9 degree sweep angle. I find that very impressive. All right. Now you got an aerial bird's eye view of these wings, how the uh, flaps and the slats ailerons are all slanted in the flaps down angle you see right here, as well as right there as well, which that's just pretty cool and impressive as well. Now you're looking at the back of the wings, you see the uh, slats and the ailerons are slanted on the flaps down position, including the fuel dump valve. Then you got a better vision view of the landing bogey gears here on the side of the uh, aircraft includes the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. All right, we're at the back of the aircraft here on the port slash left side, and right inside that uh, entire blue there is the AFT bulkman door. And then above the windows there, the three colored flags which represents the countries of Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. You see there, and the registration ship number. SE-RSA, which happens to be this registration ship number you're looking at right here. Registration ship number SE-RSA. This particular aircraft is the very first SAS Scandinavian Airlines system Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide-body aircraft that actually entered the carrier's fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on November 6, 2019 and was delivered to SAS Scandinavian Airlines System on November 28, 2019. This aircraft was also the first aircraft in the SAS Scandinavian Airlines Systems fleet that was painted in their updated revised livery scheme, which was unveiled two months earlier before this aircraft was officially handed over to the airline on September 19, 2019. All right, now you're looking at the back of the uh, aircraft. I'm looking at it is the tail fin right here, painted in metallic blue, featuring the airline's logo displayed on that metallic blue tail fin of the aircraft. And then you see the APU, how the APU uh, exhaust hole is zero air power unit. That's what this is actually called. Then strobe light is the um, strobe light right there. And then you see the um, just talking about the flaps here on this uh, wing right here on the tail. It moves a little bit, not much. Gotta be careful though. And the uh the flaps on the uh horizontal stabilizer, it moves bar barely. Just see there right there, but you gotta be careful with them, okay? As well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Let's check it out. There it is. Awesome. Alright, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard slash right side of the aircraft where you see the front nose landing gears. The landing gear struts, the landing gear door featuring the registration ship number on it, uh, nose gear door, partial registration ship number that is, RSA, see the Peter 2 static ports, what have you, the radon nose cone, more Peter 2s, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the star lines decal, the three colored flags that represents the countries of um, Denmark, Sweden, and Norway, and then the name of the aircraft and Jagger Viking right there. The Star Alliance decal, the front cargo container loading door, as well as the airline's logo, the SAS billboard tires you see displayed there at the front of the aircraft. All right, now you're looking at the center of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the inboard land light right there. Uh, the Rolls Royce Trent XW84 turbofan type engines painted in uh, metallic silver and metallic. Uh, Blue you see there with the Scandinavian title uh, displayed on the engine column, the engine cone, as well as the side vision view of the uh, landing bogey gears here, which include landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the blended winglet wingtip devices painted in metallic blue on this side of the aircraft here, including the green navigation light you see displayed there. As well as the uh, front visual view of this blended winglet wingtip device at a 31.9 degree sweep angle. Check it out. There it is, everyone. The front visual view of the blended winglet wingtip device you see displayed at a 31.9 degree sweep angle. Awesome. All right, now you got an aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft uh, model with the wings on there. You see how they slanted in the flaps down angle, the flaps, as well as the slats and the ailerons you see there, including the fuel dump valve right there as well. 
now you're looking at the back of the wing. You see the slats and the aerons slanted down in the uh, flaps down position right here, as well as the fuel dump valve right there. And you got a better visual view of the outer landing bogey gears here on this side of the aircraft, which includes the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the rear cargo container loading door, the registration ship number, the three uh, colored flag decals which represents the colors of Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. And then you see the back here is metallic blue, including the tail fin, features the airline's logo displayed on that tail fin as well. All right, before I show you this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view, as well as the undercarriage belly view in full detail, please allow me to check it, let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gears. Let's check them out. Rolls pretty good, all right. It does tilt, as you can see there. And the front nose landing gear swivels as well, as you can see there, there, and there. Okay, so with no further ado, Let's check this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view. We're going to start at the front of the aircraft where you see the radon nose cone, the pita tubes, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows. Then above there, you see the Podscape hatch door. Then you come along this way, see the anti collision beacon light, the Wi Fi box antenna. Another high frequency antenna. Then you see the SAS titles on both sides. The ADF antenna, ADF antenna in 3D. Another high frequency antenna. And that's the satellite communications antenna. Another high frequency antenna. And then the uh, vertical stabilizer known as the tail fin right there. As well as the horizontal stabilizer. You see a little dot right there as well as there as well. Those little dots there want to call the luminaire lights. And the sole purpose of those luminaire lights is that it actually light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now let's check out the engines and the wings. See the engines and the um, engine strikes as air deflectors there. And then looking at the top of the wings here, no wing walkway, but you got the flaps, slats, aileron spoils, what have you, and the flaps down angle. The no warning information, the fuel dump valve, as well as the blended winglet wingtip device feature the airline's low you see displayed there. Now let's check out over here. The top of the engine featuring the uh, air deflector slash engine strikes. The top of the wing, no wing walkway, but you got the flaps, slats, aileron supports, what have you, and the flaps down angle on this side here as well. The warning information, the fuel dump valve as well as the blended winglet wingtip device that feature the airline's logo on this side of the uh, blended winglet as well. Now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model. We're going to start at the front as usual. The radon nose cone, the crew escape hatch door, the front nose landing gear door, the front nose landing gear, and then let's slide up this way. A couple high frequency antenna. And then you see the Scandinavian uh, titles on the underbelly you see there. The hole where the mile stand goes in at. The anti collision beacon light. Come back here. The APU housing door as well as the horizontal stabilizers underneath. And now let's check out the gears over here. Uh, a little challenge to tilt, but it's okay. You see the engines there, as well as the wings underneath. You see the flaps, slats, aileron's uh, in a flaps down angle as well. The registration ship number, the fuel dump valve, as well as the blended winglet. Now let's check out over here. This is the actual gear I had problems with. I had to glue on there because it came apart, so I had to glue it on there. It didn't see the gears right there, the engines. As well as the wings underneath includes the flap, slats, aileron spoilers, and the flaps down angle here. Fuel dump valve, as well as the blended winglet you see on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, since I show you this air aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view as well as the undercarriage belly view in its entirety in full detail, now I'm going to put it on that nice little model stand that actually came with the model. So with no further ado, everyone, here is the model on the stand. Let's check it out.
Okay, fine got this model on the stand with no problem, no hesitation. As you see it being displayed in the takeoff landing position with the model on the stand. Now I'm gonna let this model display in the clockwise rotation, let you check it out from the port side you see here, then the tail cam angle, then the starboard side, and then the front of the aircraft, and then back to the port side, okay? Let's check it out. All right, before I take this model stand, I got it this, this model at an angle for a reason, and the reason is the magnetic gears. However, the gear on the starboard side, it was a challenge. I had to glue it on it because it came apart. The pin got lost somewhere. It didn't come with the model. So I'm just going to take this one off. As you see here, it's magnetic. I'm going to stick that back there. As well as the outer bogey gear here on the starboard side. That's magnetic as well. Okay. Now I'm going to let you see this aircraft model at a different angle. Check it out. Alright, since I had a gear challenge on the starboard side, I'm just going to get straight to the chase. Now, you got one or two options how you want to split your model. If you want to split your model like, like this without the gears on there, that's fine. See these gear replacement doors inside this plastic bag? That's the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model. So you substitute your gears while you split your model like this in flight mode that has gears up position. Or you can do like I do, just keep it in the gear down position. Gears up, gear down, your choice. I choose to keep mine on there because it adds more value to the model. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and um, take this model stand and go ahead and wrap up this model review. All right. Let's talk about the seating configuration. The SAS Scandinavian Airline System Airbus A350-900XWB Extra Wide Body Jetliner Aircraft seats 300 passengers in a three-class configurate cabin layout. Here's the breakdown, everyone, from rows 1 to 10, which will be from about from right here to about right here. You have 40 business class seats, rows 20 to 23, which will be about from here to about right here. You have 32 SAS plus class seats, which is premium economy. And from rows 30 to 56, which will be about from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have just a 228 SAS Gold Class Seat, which is Economy Class Seat, which brings a total of 300 seats. And finally, in addition to Chicago O'Hare as the official inaugural international flight destination for this particular aircraft, SAS Scandinavian Airlines System currently employs this aircraft or have previously utilized this aircraft, the Airbus A350-900XWB Extra Wide Body Aircraft on routes from Copenhagen, Denmark, the Beijing capital, Hong Kong, Los Angeles, California, Newark, New Jersey, San Francisco, California, Shanghai, Pudong, Tokyo Haneda, Tokyo Narita, and Washington Dulles. SAS has also performed repatriation flights on this particular aircraft to worldwide destinations such as Islamabad, Pakistan, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and Sao Paulo, Brazil. Those were the routes. Well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I like to know you got it. This model, are you planning on getting it if you can find it? With that said, this will conclude this model review. Please take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.